from just outside of downtown Cleveland. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. It is about 1.38 p.m. and 64 degrees. You can see the outskirts of downtown in the Cleveland State Campus. I'm on Euclid Avenue right now. And the reason I started the video here is I wanted to just make it clear that we are just leaving downtown Cleveland right now when we're showing the proximity of how close it is to Asia Town because Asia Town is going to be the subject of today's video. So uh, this portion that we're on right now is not Asia Town. We're going to make a left turn when we get up to East 30th Street here. And then I printed out a map online from the Asia Town website. And I'm going to assume, because they're like promoting it this way, that this is uh, like the perimeter of what they're calling Asia Town. But you can see on the left side here this says east 30th street and perkins so once we reach east 30th and perkins we're going to consider that like the start of asia town from this direction and then Payne and superior are two big streets as well as st Clair, and that kind of forms the border going toward the lake and then it pretty much goes from east 30th to east 40th street so a 10 block radius going east and west. My exposure to Asia Town, despite the fact that it's right next to downtown Cleveland, has been pretty limited. When I was a college student, at CSU, there was a certain year, and I want to say it was about 2011 maybe, could have been 2012. Where there was one particular person who I played basketball with at the rec center, and he was very kind, and he was familiar with the Asia Town area, so he was like taking us to a few of the places and showing us around. But other than that, I've only passed by it a couple times. Like I think when I walked to Slimans back at St. Patrick's Day, I passed through a little bit of the area. And then there was a day when I needed to grab something from a family dollar real quick. I think it was, I needed wrapping paper for a little Christmas party, and I was like, oh shoot, I need some wrapping paper. And I looked and I said, oh, Family Dollar, they should have some. And I tried to do a little bit of light research online. So that I would know my bearings a little bit and where some of the murals are located and the popular shopping areas. long intersection here at Chester.
And then after Chester, that's where Perkins begins. There's supposed to be some murals, as I stated earlier, throughout Asia Town. I guess we could consider this mural part of Asia Town. It's close enough, right? I didn't see this one online. Grace Wen, Coral Tree from 2010. So it looks to be painted on the side of a small place that has storage bin locations or storage lockers. And they also have monkey cups as another artwork on this side of the walls. So like I said earlier, forgive the first couple minutes of this video because you may be watching it like, where the heck is Asia Town? This doesn't, this looks like nothing. Again, I'm just showing how to get there from downtown Cleveland, one of the ways to get there. But right here at the next intersection is Payne and that's where you'll begin to see some of the big features of Asia Town. Actually, I forgot while I was walking up, I meant to read off some history. This is from the Asia Town website. It says, Asia Town began as a home for Chinese Americans who settled in Cleveland as early as 1860. Those early families mainly came from the West Coast looking to escape anti-immigrant hostility and seek economic opportunities. By the 1920s, the Chinese population was concentrated at Rockwell Avenue and East 22nd Street, near the outer western edge of what is now considered Asia Town. As numbers swelled during the 20th century, especially after the communist takeover in 1949, the area became known as Chinatown. And then it also sounds like you have a over time, Korean and Vietnamese groups have really flowed into the area. Today, the Korean population and businesses of the Asia Town region are numerous, have a strong community presence. The Vietnamese community, which numbered hundreds of families by the 1980s, began to relocate from the west side of Asia Town area, and by 2000 had numerous businesses and restaurants in the neighborhood. By then, the population of Old Chinatown had become significantly diverse. So let's see here. I don't know if this is current, but it looks like there's a coming soon sign for a Dagu rice noodle restaurant. A lot of the intersections on Payne have this artistic effect to it on the crosswalks. So you can see part of downtown Cleveland. Mainly you're just seeing the uh, CSU Rhodes Tower. So 
this place right here, see with like the awning, that's called Asia Plaza. Now the few times I have walked through Asia Town, I passed by that. I had like no idea or no concept of what that was. I thought like, oh, you know, maybe it was just all one building of some place that I was unfamiliar with. But I looked online and it's actually kind of like a mini shopping mall with a bunch of uh, either food or retail vendor places inside of it. So I don't know if they have like security in there, you know, discouraging filming, but I'll try to do a quick walkthrough video while I'm in there. Because that it's, sounds like it's one of the predominant places that's popular here in Asia Town. Got some artwork on the electrical boxes. And before I go in, let's take a look at this mural over here. This mural is called Triumph. I believe it's trying to reference like a hero's journey. So you see like Flower City's gift shop. More gift shops. Look at the Hello Kitties waving to you. <laughs> the year of the rooster. Is that this year or is that a different year? I don't see a year specifically marked on it. So yeah, there's multiple entrances so you could get in from that, that mural that we saw earlier was just around the bend. There's a Health Mart Pharmacy. Looks like there's a little bit of artwork down this direction. Oh yeah, so it must be different years, like they have Year of the Sheep here. Year of the Horse. And then the Year of the Monkey.
Now before, I, I think I'm going to try to check out the grocery store, but I wanted to show it from another perspective. So again, that mural that we saw was over there earlier. There's another entrance to the Asia Plaza. But then, this is the Park to Shop Supermarket grocery store. So, I am completely naive to any of this stuff. Like, I, have, I don't even know what I'm looking at. But, you know, it's cool that you have, you know, a large-scale grocery store in the area with all the snacks. And all the regular foods. Oh, these actually look familiar. These look like, uh, they say volcano cookies. I was thinking about getting a certain item. Maybe I'll get that. All your canned goods. Alright, so besides those little cookies, I also got a chocolate chip cookie thing. Let me show you the packaging. I'm just going to sit uh, on this bench right here, right outside the grocery store. See, I like the little scenery. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure these are probably just regular old chocolate chip cookies. Hopefully it's not something I didn't realize, I didn't understand the writing, but choco chips. So, I think a lot of the products do have a little bit of English labeling on them. Ooh, not not just that high quality chocolate chip cookies. So let's try try one of these out. Oh, they come in a sleeve, kind of like uh, Chips Ahoy. Oh, so it's broken down into several sleeves. That's a little bit of a different wrinkle. I guess you can keep the freshness of them. You can actually break these and take them like as a one snack per day. So a small cookie. Let's try it out. Yeah, tastes, tastes good. Tastes, you know, similar to your typical Chips Ahoy cookie. They actually did have Chips Ahoy brand in there with the um, you know, different language written on it. Let me put this away in my bag for a second. Alright, so I am going to walk back toward pain. And I think I'll try to walk all the way up pain and then make my way Toward superior and then come back down superior. Otherwise, if I try to just shoot in between the streets, it's going to be too much back and forth. So, again, that's the supermarket we were just in. Across the street there, there's a place called Galaxy Karaoke Bar, Galaxy KTV. I read online that that is a relatively newer addition to Asia Town, and that it can be pretty popular.
So right here I'm going to make a left to go down Payne and that'll be the new territory for this video. But no cars are coming. I also printed off a small cheat sheet for some of these murals that are in Asia Town. Like this one coming up here is Graffiti Gundam. Inspired by the Gundam series, this graffiti style mural reflects the artist's graffiti style writing incorporated with the Japanese military science fiction theme and spans 90 feet. So you can see the artistic mural there. That's bordering the Good Harvest Market. And then the other side of that, it's an untitled piece, but it's by Jet Martinez as part of the 2021 Cleveland Walls Mural Festival. This piece adds Jet Martinez's signature floral style to the wall of Good Harvest Food Market. So there's that little portion there, but then there's a bigger part. Uh, I assume this place is open and then it's like a, another little food market, which is probably evidenced by that person shopping there. You got the Asia Town thing here. Yeah, but this is what I was talking about. Yeah, so that's another Asia Town Market store. But the mural on this building is also related to the mural from Cleveland Walls. As we go past East 31st Street, remember East 40th is pretty much the border, which is where that bridge is over there. As you get a little bit closer, you'll be able to see it on the video. That kind of forms like the bookend of Asia Town. And you've got a lot of restaurant or dining type places like right over there it says mango mango you can see the parking lot has like seven eight nine cars so a pretty big crowd especially since we're in the daytime across the street there is wonton gourmet and barbecue And then on this intersection is Payne Laundromat. So if people need to do their laundry services in the area, you can come here. Now one of the places that left was Dave's Supermarket, which used to be located right there. Now it looks like it's still vacant. I don't know if there's any plans to turn it into anything. I believe initially I was reading online there was, you know, I think people didn't were upset that it was leaving. But on the same note, I'm sure that also helps uh, the other local businesses that are here. You've got sort of a community garden over here on the right side. I think this used to be part of the Dave's parking lot over here and across the street past East 33rd. So they have Love Letters Asia Town, so that's what's replaced the former doorway 
of where Dave's market would be. There's the family dollar that I ran to that one day to grab some Christmas wrapping paper for a uh, gift exchange, like Secret Santa type of thing. We're coming up on East 34th Street and Payne. Oh, sorry, East 36th Street. The number nine bus is what comes down Payne. So if you're downtown Cleveland, you're looking to get here quickly, you can find where the number nine stops. I'm not sure if there's any other buses that go down Superior this way. I imagine there would be. So this little area here is Payne Commons. And is this where Cocoa Bakery is? Yes, it is, right on the corner. So you've got Cocoa Bakery, which I, that's the one place I've heard a ton of things about. So I would say that's like a go-to destination. Then Dagu Rice Noodle. Isn't it the place that we saw the advertisement for earlier? Maybe they're gonna be moving if that's the same name. There's also a map of Thailand. Uh, there's a Chinese kebab and grill down there and a hair salon. Yeah, this, so this is a nice little area. Surprise kind of the parking lot's so small for how many establishments are located here. So Coco Bakery, even though I was commenting about how the parking lot in general looks small, it was busy. I mean, I went in there, there was three people ahead of me in line, and then right when I got in line, like four people got, you know, behind me, and there was still people coming in as I was leaving. So that's great to see the businesses appear to be, like, kind of thriving. And you can't, you know, the prices aren't bad either. I got all this for a combined, like, $8.95. It's a little... I think it's a turkey sandwich that I got on the left. And then there's a something called a sesame ball. It said it had, it had uh, beans in it, I think. And then I got a little cheesecake slice. So pretty, pretty good deal. May try to munch on this turkey sandwich just a little bit. turkey and cheese sandwich.
sorry for the shady, shoddy camera work right here. I'm trying to put this back in its package. Just the three bites that I took of that it was really good. I'm not saying that just uh, BS people. All right, we're at East 39th, like I said earlier. It technically extends to East 40th for Asia Town, but I don't think I'm going to cross. There's another mural there on the side of that building. Give me one second. I'm going to put this uh, bag away so that I have this, my hand free. All right, so I'm crossing pain to get to the other side. Sorry, I'm crossing. Yeah, it is pain. I'm crossing at East 39th. By the way, that last painting or mural that we just saw was called Blossom, also part of the Cleveland Walls Mural Festival in 2021. It was depicting a hummingbird resting on a cherry blossom. So we're going down East 39th Street. Don't don't get the wrong impression. Like this isn't how every cross section of a street looks. Remember, on that end is where the bridge is. So there's no places over there. I probably should have went down East 38th Street as well. Once we get a little bit further up ahead here, uh, East 39th is going to bend to the left. And then we're going to get to another mini shopping mall area called Asian Town Center. So when we first started the video, we saw the Asia Plaza Shopping Center. This one is going to be called Asian Town Center. This kind of gets us closer to Superior. I mean, this street here is called Limar, but it's just a very short, very short street. That connects you over to East 38th. And at East 38th, at that stop sign, we're gonna go toward the right. like a former loading loading dock for whatever that building was When I was seeing this building on Google Maps, I was having a hard time determining if this is Asian Town Center. Maybe it is though, right here. Uh, it's talking about second floor of Asian Town Center. Parking, C, customer parking, oh yeah, Asian Town Center. So I think there's several lots. Actually, so what I wanna do is, we'll, we'll make note that that entrance is there, but I think Another access point is actually off of Superior. Or maybe right here is another access point. I don't know how many businesses are here compared to the center we saw earlier.
But I, I assume that's another entrance to get in to Asian Town Center. Based on the number of cars, it doesn't look like there would be a lot of people here, but who knows, the uh, Coco Bakery thing proved me wrong earlier in that regard. Up here is Superior. And as I'm approaching these buildings, I don't know what they are, but they kind of like unique architecture and color for the neighborhood. All right, so Asia Food Supermarket, and then it's saying main entrance parking is that way. So maybe that's the main entrance for Asia Town. I don't know. Like I said, it looks pretty deserted here, so I don't know if this place is not open. Maybe I should still walk over there though, because... All right, so this place maybe is a restaurant that's not in operation, but over here, Asian, Asia Food. Yeah, but see, that doesn't look open either. Asia Food Company. You do have the big sign there. You know, I'm, you know, you, you don't blame me, right? You're not getting a good vibe of like, should I even try going into this place? Maybe I'll stay outside and just note that you can explore it if you'd like, because I feel, you know, I've never traveled internationally. I'm sure I would feel very awkward, like sticking out like a sore thumb. So I already feel like that. So like when I'm in the grocery store or even Cocoa Bakery, I'm not like narrating much. So if something looks like it's deserted, it's tougher, especially when you're not familiar with it to go exploring. But at least I got a picture of that sign and if you happen to be in Asia Town and wanna check it out, go ahead and do so. I will note that on the second floor of the Asian Town Center building, there was an, there's supposed to be a u very unique art gallery called Negative Space. But when I looked at the hours of that, it said that that place was closed. Definitely closed today. It might be closed like Monday through Wednesday and open Thursday through Saturday or Sunday. So now we're on Superior, we're going to be making our way back toward the downtown Cleveland area. And on Superior you get a little bit more of a perspective of entering downtown Cleveland. You can see Key Tower in the background, but on our left here there's Korean House Family Restaurant. Across the street there, it says E Prep Village Prep uh, Cliffs Campus, I think. I can't quite read it, but there's some decorations by the entryway. I wonder if this place is still open or they're just closed right now, but Sweethearts, that sounds like a bakery. Margie's Bar and Grill. Hey, in this building, I swear, like I've never, I've never been here to see this angle. I got to take at least a picture of this. I'm completely naive to what it is. But you know what? Now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check real quick on Google Maps because I see a sign back there that says Tyler Village with a big sign that says Enter. So online it says it's kind of a rotating, flexible space for 
businesses. It kind of sounds like an incubator of sorts. I'm just going to walk on the other side of Superior, still heading toward downtown. I do see one sign there on the end that says Roaming Biscuit, and it also says the Bake Shop and Cafe. So maybe this place on the corner is a food place, and then the actual Tyler Village with the businesses is located uh, over there with the incubator spaces. Over there on the left there's Great Lakes graphics and then right here on the edge Cleveland Wholesale Cash and Carry. Groceries, paper products, candy, beverages, household, restaurant supplies, and tobacco. Yeah, it's tough when, when you have such wide street like Superior or Chester earlier, it's tough to bridge it to make it feel like a walkable street like Payne, you know, where it's more narrow. You feel that little bit of a tighter knit. Tighter knit space to walk around and feel like you're part of a Asia town community. Like so far since I've started walking down Superior, I really don't have a vibe like, oh yeah, I'm in Asia Town. Besides the signs up here that say Asia Town. Speaking of which, I I don't think I've taken a picture of that. Over there, there's a couple of restaurants. One that says Shanghai, it looks like they may be under construction, and then for a little bit further down, Vietnamese restaurant. There's a, appears to be a bike rack in between with pho ro as the language appearing above it, and then a fun looking mural. There's a Napa Auto Parts here, whether that's still open. It's always hard to tell. We try to get a picture of that restaurant and mural.
Over on the left is the Golden Plaza Daily Printing. Oh, the Golden Plaza, okay. So now I'm seeing multiple businesses. So it sounds like that's another mini, <laughs> if you want to call it like a shopping mall area, but they've got Daisy Printing, which is a, I assume a print shop all about you hair and nail salon. Ha on Noodles restaurant, a Just Like Mom's restaurant. Shaycito Cosmetic, Superior Faux Restaurant, and Center Star. And then right down there is another deli. Superior restaurant and deli and takeout. And this is gonna bring us to East 30th. So that's gonna be right where, again, that border is. It pretty much says, hey, but now we're at the end of Asia Town, but Although it does sound like just beyond the bridge used to be like the old Asia town. If you made a right down East 30th and went all the way to St. Clair, that would get you to Slimans. But I wouldn't call Slimans like, you know, it's not, it's not an Asia restaurant, but you can pretty much uh, say that it's in on the border or right in the Asia town community. All right, so it's perfectly possible that I just don't know where it's at because I'm sure I'm missing quite a few hidden little gems. And I, by the way, I did not go down to St. Clair where there are a few more restaurants tucked away related to Asia Town, but I think I captured uh, most of the essence with what I did. But what I was going to say was one thing I feel like that's missing is a lot of times when you're a tourist and you're going to uh, like Chinatown in New York, or even even though I didn't explore Chinatown in Seattle, it, you still have like that. Uh, archway that becomes like a very photo photogenic thing for tourists to say hey let me snap a picture and show that I'm in you know Asia town in this particular city so I just think it'd be kind of cool if you had an arch of some sort like spanning over one of the streets or even some type of sign. Again, I may have missed it, but I, like, where's the sign that says, welcome to Asia Town, Cleveland? Or even something like that right there, <laughs> like a statue, some big prominent statue where you can take a, a picture of. I don't know why that's behind the construction fence. Anyway, we've come full circle back to that grocery store, supermarket, and Asia Plaza that we were at earlier. Asia Plaza, I mean, the entryways, to be fair, that kind of is what I was describing about, like, if you want to take a picture and say you're in Asia, Asia Town, Cleveland. That's sort of the touristy look that I'm referring to. But if you enjoyed this walk through Asia Town, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to tell us about your experiences with Asia Town because I'll admit, you know, a lot of the videos that I shoot, I feel educated on when I'm talking about stuff. This video that I was shooting, you know, it happens when you're a stranger in a strange land, so to speak, but I felt uh naive and unsure of myself when describing things so yeah 
I would definitely encourage if you're familiar with the area, leave a comment down below and tell us about uh, some more nice things about the Asia Town community.